got to get into what's going down this week. A Super Bowl weekend. Uh, it's on a Thursday. Of course, Delfimo Lopez. Jermaine Ortiz. Thursday, February 8th, live from Las Vegas. Yeah, no, this is a big one, Gio. Again, uh, two, two, two good names, big fighters. Obviously, a lot of people are going to be fair to Delfimo. He's he's on a roll. He's he's got one of the better resumes of you know current fighters right now, and he's got somebody, a big guy, a big puncher. You know, they they fought in the amateurs uh, about ten years ago. Um, so of course, you know that Jermaine is going to want to you know to serve Delfimo Lopez, take that spotlight, take take everything that Delfimo has built. So it's a big fight, man. It's a big fight. Yeah, and you guys see the whole card there. It's a stacked card, man. I'm just going to go through the names real quickly. Uh, you have Keyshawn Davis, Jose Pedraza. Uh, on on the undercard as a co-main, Keyshawn Davis, 9-0. and Jose Pedraza, 29-5. and George Acosta, Rene Teyes Iron, Abdullah Mason, Benjamin Gourmet, Charlie Sheehy against Abdel Salceda. This is a good fight right here, Chris. Javier Martinez against Raul Salomon. Salomon actually from Long Beach as well. We've called some of his fights here locally in the LA area against Javier Martinez, who fights out of the RGBA. Uh, skillful Southpaw uh, representing Milwaukee. That's a good fight to keep an eye on. Uh, Javier Martinez against Raul Salomon. Our guy, Alan Garcia, 10-0, undefeated. We had him on the podcast a couple shows ago. Uh, he's going up against Tomas Ornelas, who's seven and three. You know, so our guy Alan getting some action there. Antonio Cepeda against Lemire, Isom Riley, Art Barrera against Michael Portales. Yeah, no, like you said, Joe, it's a stack card, man. You got, you know, everything from champions, title holders to up and comers to the, you know future stars of, of boxing. So. That's, it's, it's a great card, man. Whoever can make it out there. And, you know, if I was out there, I'd get there from 3 p.m. And, and I would catch every single one of these fights. But, uh, yeah, man, our, our boy Alan is fighting. Again, he, like you said, Joe, he's, you know, 10 fights in. He's looking at guys like Del Fimo. He's looking at guys like Jermaine. He's like, I want to be there one day. So, you know, those guys were once in his shoes. They were once, you know, also at the bottom of other cards. So it's, it's, it's a great card overall, stack card. And, uh, yeah, man, it's a good, good main event. And it's loaded with nice... Nice uh, appetizers there. You don't always get that, you know. You know, sometimes you get just the two, the two names in the main event, and everything else is just fluff. So, now with this card, you know, it's a, it's a very admirable card, and going to be a great, a great event. Shout out to the Bob Father. But you know what, Chris? You know what name I don't see on here anymore is uh, Emiliano Vargas. <laughs> so it seems like he may not be fighting after all. Emiliano, the son of Fernando Vargas, of course, the most talented one. Out of the three, uh, signed to top rank. He's been on a lot of the big undercards. Uh, but yeah, it seems like his name uh, was scratched from this card, at least according to BoxRec. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little disappointing. Uh, maybe a minor injury, we don't know. But uh, yeah, usually those, those, that's the name that's attached to, to top rank. And of course, the ball father is always going to want to have, you know, you know, headed out there close. You know, he puts in seats. Obviously, he's got the name behind him. Um, so that's unfortunate, but it's still a very good card. And yeah, man, I can't wait to, to watch this fight. Uh, Gio, I got to ask you, man, have you been seeing what's been going on behind the scenes? Are you excited for this main event? What are your thoughts? I've been watching some clips here and there. Tofimo posting a lot of uh, a lot of just videos, a lot of clips, a lot of videos of him training. Uh, yeah, I've seen some stuff. Uh, I've been keeping up, but... Uh, not sure, not as much as you. Yeah, no, I, you know me. Uh, if it's entertaining, I, I'll take a snippet. Uh, I don't know if you saw the blood, sweat, and tears. That one was pretty good. It's like an all access. I believe I did. I believe I did, yeah. That was good. I think that was pretty good. Uh, to me, Delfimo is probably one of the most outspoken, raw dudes out there. Very talented. He's been there with all those names. I know some fights, you know. People are not convinced that he won, um, but he's still in there, man. Uh, I think he's paving the way. He's getting he's getting a lot of love from the Roy Jones Jr., from all those guys that, you know, they're, they're seeing that like, he wants these big fights. And 
again, he's coming up a big win over Josh Taylor. So definitely has all the momentum, Gio. I'm going to ask, can, can Jermaine Ortiz uh, pull off the upset? Hey, look, I think I, I think he had a very good outing versus uh, Lomachenko. You know, obviously different ball game. Lomachenko usually uh, undersized against these guys. So, you know, he's going to fight a guy who's much bigger, a lot more power, uh, younger. You know, you look, if, you, if you take a look here at his, his record, you know, he had that win against Herring by unanimous decision. Uh, he lost to Lomachenko. A lot of people thought it was close. You guys see the scorecards there. 112, 116, 111, 117, and 113, 115. Uh, then he won a decision against Moran. You know, I think what's going to hurt Jermaine Ortiz is here. If you see, if you guys see here, eight knockouts only and 17 wins. So I think that's going to hurt him. I think, uh, he has a good chance if he goes out there and boxes, uh, uses Delfimo's emotions, uh, uh, against him. You know, Delfimo can be an emotional guy and, you know, if Ortiz can frustrate him, I think he can have some success. With that being said, I don't really see it happening. I know some people are giving him a chance. Uh, good, good segue until this poll here. Uh, question was who you who wins this Thursday? Five hundred sixty-five votes. Delfimo Lopez eighty-four percent. Jermaine Ortiz only sixteen. Damn. Yeah, those are overwhelming odds. Of course, more people know Delfimo. More people know what he's done. The names he's been in there with, they obviously have a common opponent. On paper, Delfimo won that fight where Jermaine Ortiz lost to, uh, and like you said, an undersized Vasily Lomachenko. Uh, dude, I want to say, I'll just throw it out there. I don't want to spend too much time on Loma, but he's had his way with <laughs> with with Vasily. Uh, he's had his way with Del, with Devin Haney, and with Jermaine in that eighth, ninth round. That's where, you know, most, some, some of the fighters get tired. But uh, yeah, that's the, that's the common opponent. Um, and I'm gonna have to side with with uh, people that think if Delfimo wins this one. I I have it right now 70 30. I want to give mm. some some respect to Jermaine. Okay. He is a good fighter. You know he, he's a big dude, stocky dude. Uh, he can upset, but it's I see it as a tall ass 70 30 for Delfimo myself. All right, I'm going more 75 25. Okay. You know we'll see what Delfimo we we get. But look, Delfimo hasn't hasn't looked bad recently. I mean he had that big win against. Uh, Taylor, of course. Here, let's, let's take a look at his resume. 19-1, 13 knockouts. He's 26. Jermaine, what, 27, I believe. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at this right here. So uh, Josh Taylor, that was in June of 2023. He hasn't been too inactive. You know, he claimed to retire, but, you know, he got a decision over Josh Taylor, who was a kingpin at 140 pounds. Undefeated, 19-0 coming into that fight. Uh, Sandro Martin maybe didn't look so good. That fight was in 20, at the end of 2022. Same with the fight against Pedro Campa. Uh, before that, of course, he had that loss to Cambosos in 2021. And that's when they were talking about the health issues or whatnot. Um, yeah. And then 2020 was, of course, that win against Lomachenko. Um, you see the scorecards are way wide. 119, 109 when when Judge had it. That's crazy. But um yeah, you know uh, Telfimo, I think he he's coming off some good momentum against Josh Taylor. Uh I think this is another fight for him to shine, you know, a fight to stay active, and hopefully after this one he gets a big fight. But uh you can't overlook anybody. I think he should be able to win this fight. I'm not going to say easily, but yeah, this should be a Tofima win for me. Yeah, like you said, Gio, um, J Jamaican upset, but he's got, he's got a fight, you know, an unfocused version of a Tofima, a distracted version of Tofima Lopez, an unhappy version of Tofima Lopez. And that's not what we're seeing. You know, we, we see Tofima, you know, just smiling all the time, focused, strong, just, just in good spirits. Obviously, you hear some things about, you know, outside personal problems. It looks like he's, for the most part, you know, put those in check. He did take some time off, and I think that he took the right amount of time off uh, in his retirement. Uh, and he's focused, man. Again, I, I wouldn't bet against him now. You know, like you said, he's an emotional guy. 
He 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 shows those emotions uh, when things are going wrong, and I, I don't see those right now. Again, he's you know a happy fighter is a dangerous fighter, and that's what I'm seeing in Teofimo Lopez right now. So you know, pending something crazy, I think Teofimo wins this one, and uh, I think he gets a knockout. In my opinion, Jermaine Ortiz seventeen one and one. He hasn't been stopped. Uh, AKO's twenty seven years old. Ortiz, you know what, Chris? Uh, since you named your prediction. You know, all week I was kind of going back and forth between, you know, whether I think Delfim was just going to cruise through a decision or actually get the stoppage. Uh, and you know what? I had a hard time deciding, but I'm going to agree with you. I think that, uh, you know, I think he's going to start punishing uh, Jermaine Ortiz in those middle rounds. And I think a uh, referee might be forced to stop this one, man. I don't, I don't really see him. Uh, you know, getting a spectacular KO, but I do see him. I can see him definitely stopping Ortiz. I think Ortiz is going to make it difficult. I think he can win a lot of those rounds. But, you know, like I said, Tofimo has a lot of momentum right now. Uh, just his power, his speed uh, is different. So for that reason, I do think he he has the potential of getting that stoppage. And that's going to be my official prediction as well. I'm going to agree with you.